I thought today I'd share with you guys one of my favorite tools I own. It's the, uh, it's called a Solarity, SPX, o OTC makes it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. I got it in a box here. This is my uh, Solarity. Basically this is a meter and a scope and it tells you a lot about uh, vehicles up to 2005. Uh, comes with a bunch of leads. Basically there's a, a scope here. Uh, I have four channel scope and a uh, ground. But let me show you why I like this tool. Let me turn it on. Hopefully you guys can see it without being too bad of a glare. Oh boy, that glare is bad. I'll put it in the shade here. I'll try to anyway. Okay. When I go into scope, I hit hit enter. Um, I can select. See, I have component test, uh, digital multimeter scope, paratrack, vehicle systems tests. Uh, a lot of useful information. Playback. But uh, anyway, let me show you this. Why I like this thing. I can select whatever vehicle I want to work on. Okay, in this can chance I'm gonna select Ford. Well, like I said, this goes up to 2005. Uh, this is my 2005 Ford Focus. If you see over there, that's my 2003 F-150. And next to it is my 1999 Ford Explorer. So, I have all Fords. Used to own a couple Dodges, but uh, don't have those anymore. Let's see here. Uh, so, I want to look at my 2005 Ford car. And there's my Focus. This, this Ford Focus is a ZX4. Okay, let me go to engine. It's under engine now. Component test. See, I, like it tells me about all this information. Like, like say I wanted to find EGR or coil on plug or any one of these components, it'll tell you all about it. Uh, let's say I wanted to check a fuel injector. It has four of them. So I could pick one. This has no functional test, but there's repair info. Like I can look at the find the I know where the, they're at, but I can look at the specs, circuit description, a circuit diagram. Like say I can uh, see that tells me like what the connector. Is. I mean that's the uh, fuel injector, and that's the how it's controlled from the PCM. Tells me what the connector is pins, color of the wires, so it's pretty handy and it, it does that for all these uh, all these you know like let me go look up a different sensor back, exit, exit okay let's see uh, I mean, it has information on all this crap, and how to test it, how to find it. Right, let's look at the mass airflow sensor, see what it says. You hit enter. This tells me exactly how to how to test this thing. Place the red and black scope leads across the terminals of the mass airflow sensor. Voltage should be this. Volts with. I mean, basically, this is like a repair manual at your fingertips for a whole bunch of vehicles pretty awesome I think but uh, I'm just uh, showing you guys a little bit about it so I can look like say cylinder head temperature sensor it tells me how to test it, it tells me uh, location top of engine so it's actually right here I mean it's on the top of the engine so really right here is, I think is my Cool, uh, cylinder head temperature. Uh, you know, I mean, like here's my fuel injectors. Here's, you know, coil on plug. This here's my cam camshaft sensor. 
and let me see let me find that okay camshaft position sensor tells me how to connect this I'd hook this up and I could look at it you know it'll it'll tell me frequency and different things like this tells me what it should be frequency should be 12 to 15 Hertz with engine at hot idle Prepare info here's my what my connector looks like looks like that and like I said that's it right there this is it right here where my fingers at I can see what color wires it is like let me look at the circuit diagram this tells me about it, it tells me which one my uh, uh, it's a camshaft position positive and negative uh, so yeah looks like I got I should have a brown and white wire and a white and violet you'll see here and that's exactly what I got those colors on there anyway I'm gonna test a few things just to test it So it's running about 12 uh, hertz and it says it should be between 12 to 15 so that should be a good pattern my battery was actually low I haven't used this thing in a while and uh, right now I got it plugged into the wall charging doing a little charging action but I'm going to give you guys a little overview. So I click uh, enter and I can, right now it's my last vehicle I worked on was my 2005 Ford Focus. Uh, so that's what it's set up for now. But I can uh, select a different vehicle or I can go to component test and that's for this vehicle, 2005 Ford Focus. It has all this information on it it tells me how to run a component test on every one of these sensors which is useful you know I mean um, I'm gonna demonstrate like a camshaft position sensor so I can click on that and it tells me how to hook it up it's actually looking for measuring frequency uh, it tells me to connect the red and black scope leads across the terminals of the camshaft position sensor the frequency should be between 12 to 15 hertz with engine and hot idle and it has all this information um, so it's pretty it's pretty handy I think this is basically like having a tech manual at your fingertips and it's a meter so you can has nice long leads and you can uh, use it as a meter for well, let me show you that I'll go back that's the let me hit, go to the digital multimeter see like I have four channels I can activate this channel um, you can measure DC volts, AC volts, uh, root mean square it's like a voltage uh, takes the root mean square of the voltage frequency, duty cycle uh, O2 cross counts uh, that's amperage, 1 millivolt equal to 10 milliamps uh, 1 millivolt equal to 100 milliamps uh, ohms DC volts, I can set it up for auto range or various uh, voltages. I can make it read digital. I can do a bar graph or a dial. Um, let me show you. Let me do a digital. Let me go, I'll make it read DC ohms. 
and I'll hit enter to show you guys. I see that's the uh, one scale. Um, oops. Didn't mean to turn that one on. See, I can make it look like that scale. I can do a, that's a, like a graph. And just say digital open, read it like you would like a regular meter. You can make it look like you know diff different things, different settings. I can go down here to a scope. I got uh, a lab scope, or an ignition scope, or a single cylinder scope. Let me show you a lab scope. I can uh, do DC volts or AC volts or amps, ohms, auto. That's just a regular lab scope. Um, ignition scope. I can uh, tell it how many how many uh, uh, cylinders. This one does is it says it says conventional distributor ignition. Um, if I go to the other one one cylinder, I can do uh, like a distributor ignition, a distributorless ignition, distributorless multiplier. So I mean it's a uh, it's a pretty handy tool, but I like it because it stores all the information about vehicles and tells you how to test things, which I think is pretty pretty cool, I think. So that's why I like this tool. I think it's pretty handy. And uh, I was just telling you guys about it.